So welcome to the next presentation of uh, additional functionality of the Office Synchronizer from Impuncto. This new demo shows you the drag and drop mechanism. You can easily start the drag and drop mechanism and you see that in the area below we include a mini explorer. And this makes sense, for example, if you are working in a Citrix environment, uh, so we have not the transfer between two terminal sessions, for example. So this makes sense that we included this mini explorer directly in the business to drag and drop. So on the right area below you identify the files and now you are able to click on the files, one and more files, and you can easily move them in the upper area. The upper area, this is the preparation for the transfer into the direction of SAP. So for example, we choose the two files and of course if you choose these files you can select afterwards one or more of these files and change them for example for copy or for move. So you change the character of the transfer. And then it just we see for example in the word integration we use all the same term. We use the same configuration inside SAP. And this means that we have now the possibility to uh, switch over to SAP and ask SAP what kind of document types, what kind of document classes are in the customizing of SAP. And so with an easy selection, we are able to generate uh, a document info record inside SAP. And of course, if we want to move a file, then we are asked for, after successfully executed, that on the system one file is deleted. And do you want to continue? This makes sense if you make probably some failure. And of course, to respect the um, customizing inside SAP and you have chosen a different document class, then SAP will ask you for some relevant data, some relevant criteria. Of course, you have the F search help, the standard search help inside SAP, and you complete the needed criteria to generate the document info record. And if you have done this, then we also include the search, a find document uh, with the criteria, with the selection criteria, and uh, have a look on the new generated document info record. Here you see the new document info record with the two files as originals also included. So we can also see the object links, for example, we described um, and we have a clear position with the documents inside the SAP business logic. So probably you want to add another file to the existing document info record. So we switch over to the bis to drag and drop, we select an additional file, or copy for example, and then we choose the button for assign file to existing document info record. And this button allows you to uh, find the document via the selection criteria and add these additional file to an existing document info record. And so, from our point of view, this additional document was also successfully checked in into SAP. And we have a look on the document info record and we see that the new file has been added to an, the existing document info record. This was an, a mail which was uh, split up into the different components, message file, text file and the attachments. And so we added the last file as an original to this existing document info record. So this handling is very easily via drag and drop to move or to copy your data from the Microsoft Explorer, for example, from your computer into the SAP. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.